Hi everyone, this is Firoz here from Magnifus IT Solution. So in this video, I'm just going to show you how we can create a custom app in Dynamic 365 version 9.0. So this is one of the videos in the series, getting started with Dynamic 365 version 9.0. So one of the exciting feature that is included in Dynamic 365 is the ability to create custom apps. So let's get started. So once we log into Dynamic 365 application, from the apps menu, you can see a list of apps here, such as Dynamic 365 Custom App. So this is the default app for you. Then you got Sales Hub, Sales, Customer Service. So if you see here, some of the apps are newly added in the Dynamic 365 version 9.0 than the previous one. So when you talk about Customer Service Hub, this is nothing but Interactive Service Hub from the previous version. Then you have Project Service Hub, Field Service, Field Service Hub, and you can also see one custom app here with the name, Custom App 2. So if I just want to see all the custom apps created in the application and to customize them, just navigate to sales, settings, and under application, my apps. So as a system customizer, this is the place where you'll be able to customize or manage all your apps here. You can see all of them here. And now if you want to create a new one, just navigate to the right top hand side of the application, click on create new app. So that will take you to a new form. So here you just need to fill up the information related to the new app. So the name and the unique name is mandatory. The other details like description, icon, client, web or unified interface, all these are not mandatory. So just start giving a name over here. You just give me a name like new app, and this is a unique name. You can leave this description. I can, I can just use the standard icon or I can uncheck that. So that will give me an option to select one icon for my application. I can select any icon here from the list. So this is the icon I'm going to have. So I'm just randomly selected one. So you can upload your own image and then you can select it as a web resource from this list. The client, web client or unified interface. Unified interface, the new interface introduced in Dynamic 5 version 9.0. And this is the app's URL suffix. You can change that here. And this is how the URL will look like. Your complete URL slash app slash demo app. So now it is giving an option here whether you want to add this app as part of an existing solution or a new one. So normally it will be created, created as part of a new solution. If I just check this box and then I click next, in the next page it will ask me to select an existing solution where I can add this app to. So I'm just going to uncheck this one. Then I click done. So a new app with the name demo app is just being created. Wow, yeah, I just got it created. So here I can see there is three areas majorly, a sitemap area, and then a dashboard area where I can see a dashboards and the business process flow, then the entity view. And then on the right hand side, I can see a tab here, two tabs in fact, a common tab, where under active act, I have entities, dashboards, and business process flows. And under entity assets, I can see forms, views, and charts. And then I have a properties window over here. So this is what we need to configure here. And also we have option here to save, save and close, validate the changes and then finally publish. So here I can see some error message, configuration is missing. So I just click on this sitemap area. So that is taking me to sitemap designer from the app designer to sitemap designer. So I need to configure my sitemap here. And other thing that we have changed here is for each of the apps here in Dynamic 365 version 9.0, we have a separate sitemap. So the sitemap I'm going to design here is for my custom app or demo app. So here you can see the area here. So I just need to give a name over here, like customers. Then I need to add some comments here. Sub area means entities or dashboard, etc. So I need to type, select a type here. I'm going to select entity, entity name as account. Then I can add sub area as contacts, select the new area, select the type as entity. Entity I have selected as contact. Yeah, and then I select on the group, I just give the name customer details as a group details. Then I go to the comments again, I'm going to drag another group over here. Click on that, set the properties. I give task area, go to comments, drag a sub area over here. Then click on that, set the properties. I'm going to select dashboard, select which dashboard it is. I'm going to select customer service dashboard, okay. Then I'm going to add another sub area over here. Click on that, set the problem. You can keep continuing doing this. I can select the type as entity over here. Entity I'm saying like email. Yeah, email messages. So you can have multiple 
areas over here under each area you can have multiple groups and then sub areas once i have done all the changes just click on save so if there any error in anything i have added or configured here it will show me an error message here so that i can just look at those messages fix those and then i can finally publish it so my sitemap is being published now once it's published i can go back to the app designer here by clicking on app designer at the top it's taking me back to the app designer so here you can see the entities i have added here in my sitemap the account so it has two three basic entities for each entity there are three assets have been added here the forms views and charts yeah so this is account forms do i need to show all the account forms over here or some of them i can select accordingly same way for appointments that i have added in the sitemap all of them or some of them yeah then the views i can select the views for accounts same way for charts of accounts i can select those so if i need to add more entities and I can go to the sitemap again, make the changes, and then come back. And here in the dashboards area here, I can just select whether I need to display all the dashboards or some of them. I even have an option to create a new dashboard over here. Same way for business process flows. This is showing the list of all the business process flows, and which is all of them are selected by default. Or I can just select a few of them. You can see the count of them selected here. Then once you have done the changes, just click on save and then you can just validate your changes so you can see some warnings over here so against each of the items here you can see the warnings just click on that so then you get some idea so there are some warnings over here somewhere here some six dependencies i also have an option here just click on the view details so these are all warnings agreement doesn't reference a form or view apps users will see all forms and views yeah so this kind of it's not a major error or anything just warnings so yeah so by clicking here i can just configure that so that you can see the record comments over here so all the record comments we just need to select and save it and click on validate so we can just dependencies and the other warnings here you can have an option here add dependencies once you have made all the changes just you can just click on publish so your app has been published so if you just go to the my apps list you'll be able to see the new app created being added here you just need to refresh the page so you can see the demo has been added here you can see the date and uh, whether it's published or not so once you go back to the app then go to the ui so yeah so from the app launcher you can see there is a new app has been added with the name demo app here just click on that that is going to take you to the app here yeah so now you can see the new area which we have added with the name customers and the other details other entities yeah now we are in the accounts area select all accounts you can also navigate to task area where you can see the dashboards which you have selected you can choose any dashboard from the list also you can just navigate yeah so that's how you create a custom app in dynamic 35 version 902 so once you have these apps created you can take them as part of your solution then you can port to the next or your target environment so if you just navigate to the solutions you can see an area with the name apps yeah so here you can see the list all the apps are part of the default solution so yeah so apps can be part of the solution that's how they can move them from one system to the other system and in case if you just want to remove any of the apps from the list then you can navigate to settings my apps and then you'll have the option to remove them and also you can configure them for different security roles in dynamic testify by clicking manage roles yeah so whether this app need to be available for all the security roles or some of them so you can just select or deselect the users from here user security roles here so that it will be configured for the for those set of users so i have selected six security roles so these all security roles can access this apps from the dynamic testify application so this is a very strong feature so the system itself is giving a lot of apps here and then you can configure them you can just take one app you can make a custom app then you can just configure that for different security roles so it's only those security roles will be able to access those apps but so in this section we have uh, discussed about how we can create custom apps and dynamic this per version i don't know and also we have seen how we can customize the site maps uh, the areas sub areas and also how to configure the custom apps for different security roles in dynamic testify
hope this section was helpful so if you have any questions please uh, mention that in the comment box i'll be happy to help you see you in the next video